What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another pre-order update video. I know it's been a little while since I've done one of these but to be honest action figure news has been quite scarce but be on the lookout because Tamashii Nations will be hosting an event in the next couple of days that I am most definitely going to be covering in detail so we will have a lot to talk about then but for now we've got a few things to talk about today and if you guys don't know Support this video by giving it a thumbs up. That is what motivates me to continue making these. Make sure you're following and let's dive right into the action figures that just went up for pre-order. Now, if you are an anime fan, you might not be watching, but you can't tell me that you haven't heard about Chainsaw Man because at this point, it is literally everywhere. So it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that we're getting a figure of the main character, Denji. Now this is something that popped up about a week ago. We saw a promo image, but that was about it. Then last night, Figma decided to go ahead and throw out all the images and put this guy up for pre-order. And I gotta say, for the most part, it looks good. I do have one particular issue with this guy i do not like the crotch piece now i said the same thing about the figma nanami from jujutsu kaisen i just am not feeling that i don't know why they put the slits in there just give it the diaper look and leave it alone it's not really helping the articulation it just makes the figure look even uglier in that particular area i just i don't know why they're doing this all of a sudden their older figures didn't use this uh, technology or what if that's what you want to call it they didn't use this mechanism for articulation so I don't know why they're doing it now but whatever Figma has always made some questionable decisions but either way I think this guy looks good he comes with two alternate chainsaw man heads he comes with three alternate dingy heads I'm not really feeling the um the head with the tongue out, that one looks kind of whack to me, but I'm not going to really like harp on it. I'm going to wait until I have it in hand before I give my full like thoughts on it. Uh, I just think it looks kind of weird. Maybe it's just the image. Who knows? But um, of course, he comes with his chainsaw. He comes with a little pochita, which I'm glad that they included that. He comes with a piece of toast. I wasn't expecting that either. And then, of course, he comes with several sets of hands. Uh, all of these faces are straight up dingy from the anime. I do wish they would have given him at least one just like neutral, normal looking expression. It's very rare that dingy is just looking normal but still I think it would have been cool just to have one but overall man this is a decent looking figure I can't wait to have it now I know some people are saying they're waiting on other companies to make it guys y'all gotta stop doing that I know it's a popular anime but that doesn't necessarily mean that SH Figure Arts is gonna dive into it that doesn't mean that whoever else is going to dive into making this. Uh, just because it's popular doesn't mean that people are going to jump on it. That's just something I've been seeing floating around. And it's like, can you big time YouTubers or whoever collectors stop putting that out there because other people are going to think that. Then they're going to wait for something to happen and then miss out on this guy because he's already expensive from the jump. If you don't know, this figure is $80 on an import website. Meaning once he comes out, in domestically this guy is probably going to retail 120 130 140 uh who knows but it's definitely going to be a lot higher but uh anyway i just wanted to throw that out there also this guy is slated to come out in july of 2023 it might come out at that time it might not figma does have their pushbacks but they're usually pretty good with release dates uh so we'll see but overall i'm excited for it but for the most part i'm just picking this guy up because i want to complete the trio Really, I just want power. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But uh, yeah, go get this guy if you're... Now, next up, Demoniacal Fit has finally put out images for a figure we've already known was coming for a few weeks now. It is their Deep Blue or basically Super Saiyan Blue God Blue Evolution Vegeta yada yada yada. I don't know at this point. It's Super Saiyan something Blue Vegeta. And that's all that matters. But either way... This is very obviously using the uh, SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Broly Vegeta Buck head sculpts and all. Uh, it's obvious. And 
it's pretty much just a repaint. That's all it is of that figure. It's a repaint, and then they threw in an aura, which looks like it's repainted. I do have the Super Saiyan Blue aura, and uh, that was released by Tamashi Nations years ago. But this one looks like it is a deeper blue, no pun intended. But um, either way, I mean, it, it looks cool for anyone that wants a Super Saiyan Evolution Blue Vegeta. I mean... Here you go. I think personally, they probably should have did just a regular Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta first. Uh, just re-release that because a lot of people missed out on this figure. And then maybe even repainted it on the um, the first Super Saiyan, I don't know, the buff, the one that was supposed to be buff from when he fought Cell, but it just ended up being a Super Saiyan Vegeta. It would have been dope if they would have made a Super Saiyan Blue on that body. That would have helped a lot of collectors who have missed out on Vegeta bodies. But either way, this is cool. I will say it does have like a pearl look to it, like a shine to the skin tone or not really the skin tone, but the clothing. So I really don't think it would work if you put like base heads and things on here. But of course, it's up to you entirely. That's just what my eyes are telling me. But either way, this guy went up for pre-order. I don't know when Demoniacal Fit stuff comes out, but usually after the promo images come up, they usually release very soon. So be on the now, last but certainly not least is probably the best move Demoniacal Fit could have made this year because here they are giving us the event exclusive Super Saiyan 2 Goku that a lot of collectors, especially people that aren't in the United States, just weren't able to get their hands on. Either because it was an event exclusive and they didn't want to pay aftermarket prices, they missed out on it going up for pre-order on Premium Bandai, or like I said, you just don't live in the United States and people didn't want to pay a crazy price for it so and it's understandable we knew this was coming right when tamashi nation showed us they were giving us a super saiyan 2 goku so i'm glad that demoniacal fit really did go through with this because we know they have a track record of not releasing a lot of things that they show off uh it's just their nature for whatever reason but this one i can say i'm happy about now if you take a closer look Obviously, this is a digital render, uh, so it's not finalized or anything, but based on the render, it does look like they're going to go with a different tone or color, different kind of yellow for the hair. Now, if you have the OG version, which is the event exclusive, you'll notice that that hair has a bit of a shine to it, uh, and it's not a problem. It just doesn't really match the other SH figure arts Dragon Ball figures that are painted Super Saiyan. This one... It looks like, now don't quote me on this, it looks like they're going to go with that look for the like regular SH Figure Arts releases. And if they do that, I'm perfectly fine with it because of the fact that it'll make this one different enough from the event exclusive that it's worth buying and it might look better in photographs for me personally with some of my other figures. So I'm happy about this. Um... If they decide to go that route. But another thing I'm happy about is the fact that they are throwing in the aura. This was what a lot of people in particular wanted. So I'm glad they threw in the aura. They haven't shown off any other accessories. But at this point, I'm pretty sure it's going to come with all the same accessories as the original. So if you're worried about that, I don't think you have to. It's probably going to come with literally everything that the original version comes with which is that's just an overall smart move now this one is up for pre-order it's slated for december and i think demoniacal fit like i said is usually pretty good about their release dates so be on the lookout for this guy um i'm excited for this one i'm definitely picking it up even though i do have the original as well now, if I'm being honest, I was pushing for this video to be about five, six minutes at the most. Somehow it's pushing 10, uh, but there were a lot of things I wanted to discuss when it came to these releases. So whatever, the news is now out there if you guys want to listen to it. But overall, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If so, give them a thumbs up. That is what always motivates me to make these. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, whenever I go live on Saturdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And lastly, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are. And uh, if you're getting any of these figures, let me know. Which ones are you picking up?